Hello there. Hey there, YouTube friends. So I was recently inspired to actually start a new series on my channel. And this inspiration came directly from some interactions I was having with some coworkers at my new job. So as some of you may know, I recently started a job probably about a month and a half to two months ago. And uh, I actually have another coworker at this job who has the same name as mine, uh, Sydney. And so uh, in an effort to differentiate myself from the other Sydney, I decided to start going by a nickname that was given to me by a coworker from one of my previous jobs. Now this particular nickname is a little bit different um, and it's probably not what you would expect, but the nickname is actually Creep. And I spell it K-R-E-E-P, uh, just being that my last name starts with a K. So I swap out the C for the K, make it a little bit more different than it already is, and have started referring to myself as Creep. Um, I then had some people ask me, well, why Creep? Like, why would you want to be called Creep? Why do you call yourself Creep? Why, why this nickname? So... Um, my initial reaction is hesitation because obviously, um, you know, being kind of weird or different to some people is, um, or can be a little bit awkward in most situations. And, um, you know, I've recently come to the understanding within myself that I accept myself and my weirdness and strangeness and awkwardness and whatever else. And so I freely share information with people as to, um, you know, background stories about myself and interests and uh, this nickname in particular. And so anytime somebody asks me, well, why creep? And I tell them, I said, well, at a job that I used to work at a few years back, my coworker started calling me creep because I would uh, actually look up new managers who were coming to our office, I would look them up online, and then I would send their picture out to the staff in the office so that they could kind of get a sense and a feel for, you know, what that coworker looked like or how old they were or uh, maybe where they were coming from or what different offices they'd worked in prior to coming to our office just so that they could kind of get a feel for who this person was before they came to work with us. That particular skill in searching potential fellow coworkers ended up kind of spilling over into looking up people online in other situations, um, specifically uh, customers that I would talk to on the phone. So, um, I think probably one of my most interesting interactions that I had with that was there was a person that I was uh, talking to on the phone for maybe a couple of weeks, at least a few phone calls a week sort of interaction, and I ended up finding out that they were a photographer who took tasteful nudes. And so finding their website online at work was kind of an interesting experience. Um, it was a little bit uh, awkward at first because obviously you don't want to be looking at nude photographs online at work, but at the same time uh, it was intriguing to a lot of people too. I mean, even had managers come over and say like, what are you looking at? I'm like, dude, check this out. Like, this is one of our customers. Isn't this crazy? You know? So, um, my experience recently has been that instead of people feeling awkward about it or feeling weird about it or not wanting to interact with me because of it or thinking that I'm strange, um, people actually think it's kind of funny and um, in some cases they find it somewhat intriguing. So I've just decided to accept that trait about myself, my weirdness, my creepiness and just roll with it. And so that's where the inspiration for this particular new series came to play. Um, I decided to just be kind of in an awkward space, uh, particularly just a corner in my room, and just share with you my weird, awkward creepiness. Uh, kind of like a creep's corner, if you will. 
and I have a couple of ideas for the first couple of videos in the series, but would love some feedback from my viewers, of course, and uh, would love to hear just, you know, let me know down below if this is something that you think would be interesting, um, or if there's anything weird that you do that you would like to share, or if there's anything weird that you wanted to ask that you thought might be a little bit too far out there previously. Um, I'm kind of leaving this as a this could go anywhere sort of situation. Um, so let me know down below what you think. Um, you know, if you're feeling weird about this video or if you're feeling awkward or if you're feeling creeped out or whatever. Um, great! I think that's kind of like an awesome place to be in my opinion and uh, would love to hear from you and your thoughts on the topic of being weird and creepy and strange and awkward and whatever else. So uh, you'll see this uh, another video in this series here shortly. I'm hoping to do another one hopefully tomorrow to post um, and give you guys a better idea of kind of where this might be going. And uh, yeah, I think I'll just leave it at that for now. So um, I hope to hear you from you guys soon, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye, my little creeps.